Hey, welcome back. It is fantastic to have you here with me, Dino. Uh, today we'll be talking about memory. Hey, look, that person's got their, their brain that they got a post it out on their head. Isn't that hilarious? Uh, what is memory? It is a cognitive process, and this cognitive process enables us to store, retrieve, and apply knowledge. So it's really important in terms of our knowledge acquisition and application. Why would you want to study this memory, this phenomenon? It helps to, you can uh, learn and take important learning cues from this work. So if you want to teach and learn different things and uh, you want to design information or create any kind of um, material for other people to learn and memorize and remember, you can learn things from this. Uh, specifically today, I'll be talking about the stage theory model. Uh, in this uh, model, uh, human memory, it, it's, uh, it claims and asserts that human memory is developed in three specific stages. Numbered one, two, three for your convenience. A sensory input, which uh, helps someone notice something. Short-term memory, which helps someone store something for the short term. And third, the long-term memory, which allows someone to store and later retrieve it. Why don't we begin with number one, sensory input notice. Uh, here are senses, you know, whatever they are. And the example I'll be showing is more visual, but all of our senses collectively, they can recognize and momentarily store incoming stimuli in the sensory memory. And here your brain either filters out or passes this info to your short-term memory. For example, if it's an image, this imagery is held in a type of sensory memory that is called iconic memory. Here's an example. You see this deer caribou, or some kind of horned animal. That is something that is sensed visually. So after noticing it, it could possibly, it is, uh, it is uh, inputted into and stored in the short-term memory. So when, it, when information enters your short-term memory, we begin to process it in a more active, conscious way. And in this way, you can either dis discard something, get rid of it, or you can think more about this type of information. And, and intuitively, the more we process information in various ways, the more likely we are to remember it. Um, and you can store some things in your short-term memory, and it doesn't get passed on to the long-term. You can uh, store it for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. So it's there, but not too, too long. So if you want to have something long-term, you got to, again, process it in, in various ways. For example, you see the caribou, the deer, the, the horned animal. That's gone in through your sensory input and it goes into your short term or working memory through your eye. The third type of memory we'll be talking about next is long term memory, and that is storage plus retrieval. Um, long term memory is like a permanent depository. So, information that's in your long term memory is stored, it can be retrieved when necessary. And when information that you've stored is stored in long-term memory, it is stored indefinitely. So you can remember years hence after the initial uh, storage. For example, here you see the sensory input goes in through the eye into the short-term or working memory. There, if you rehearse it, more like you're processing it, and you do like a feedback loop and it goes circularly, it can eventually be transferred into long-term memory and then eventually retrieved. And let me sort of zoom in on this. So again, the sensory input goes into number two, your short-term or working memory. Your number three rehearsal is like the processing of that information. And then if you process it over and over again, it, it does a, a feedback loop and eventually it is passed on to your long-term memory. And then, you know, one month later, six months later, six years later, it can be retrieved. So there you go, friends. That was a short introduction to memory. And hopefully you don't forget what we just spoke about because then it's not memorized. It's not your long-term memory. And then you'll have to be watching this again. And I know that you don't want to do that. Although I enjoyed you wa uh, watching it the first time. Uh, thanks for watching this video on memory. I hope to get to see you again soon. Have a great day.